came together and we are working in seven African countries where Kenya is one of the countries. So we've started uh, Women in Political Participation Policy Dialogues to really look at, you know, what are the different uh, tactics, what are the different lessons that we should be drawing together. And for Kenya in particular, because we know that in 2022 there will be elections. My name is Memory Zondeka Chambwa. I'm the Executive Director for FEMNET, which is the African Women Development and Communication Network. We have been running a series of convenings where, which are part of work we are doing on women's political participation. This is part of a consortium with partners that are supported by IDEA and the government of Sweden, but also partners from Gender Links based in South Africa. We're also working with WILSA, with PADARE, uh, with IFAD in Senegal and FAO. My name is Waidera Chege. I'm the MCA for Nairobi South B Ward, and also the Deputy Majority Whip uh, for Jubilee Party. Uh, number one, I should first of all thank uh, FEMNET for hosting us today. I must say that uh, we are very grateful because uh, for some time now, Kenya has, been, uh, has faced underrepresentation in issues of women leadership. And therefore, starting this process of um, involving women in decision-making uh, areas uh, is more than a milestone. Uh, personally, I've been mentored by different organizations to where I am today and to having been elected as an MCA. And therefore, I wish to encourage organizations like FEMNET to come out and encourage as many women as possible to come out and uh, run for office. Uh, it's not easy for women. You can imagine if, if, if for a man it's uh, not easy, for a woman it's ten times harder. And therefore, the lessons that we have learned in the past should now be, uh, we, we are now giving a button uh, to the other younger generation, those who are behind us, and we are ready to hold their hands, we are ready to work with them. We are asking the women to come out. We, uh, organizations like FEMNET will be uh, willing and they have confirmed them. So as FEMNET, we are supporting um, the women to meet together, to have a space, even just a space for healing, a space for bonding, but a space to show solidarity for each other and a space to also make declarations and say, uh, we want to push for more women to be in decision making. We want to push for more women uh, to be um, elected in the coming elections. But even beyond looking just for elections, it's also what sort of challenges are women facing? Women who are in leadership right now with the COVID-19 pandemic also signed. So we are pushing for that. But also with that to say, we also want a generational leadership where young women are also able to learn, are also given space to express themselves and to also participate uh, in the political landscape. So we really want um, this, uh, when we call for women must lead, we are not just saying women must lead, but we know women are leading, they should continue leading. How do they secure their positions? How do they also get other women uh, to also occupy uh, some of the positions. And most importantly, how do you also work together to make sure that the political landscape is non-violent, but it is a, a landscape where people are participating, competing with the different political positions, political ideologies, but on a very firm, principled, equal landscape.